So I'm here today to do a review of a curling iron that I have literally had for probably, well, since I was probably in eighth grade, so it's been like six years now. But I actually got this in Texas at the mall. It was an unexpected purchase. And it, the brand is Her Styler, and it, this version is for baby curls. Now, when I got this, I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, I guess I thought they were going to be bigger in my imagination, even though the wand is only this small. But I got this, and I actually curled my hair for prom with this curling iron. And my hair, honestly, is very, very hard to curl. I mean, it'll curl initially, but then after like an hour or even less than that, it'll just completely straighten back out again. So I was looking for something that was worth my time and money. So we found this and we initially bought it for $200, which many years later until I went looking for the bigger version of it, which I just got recently. This is Grande. And as you can see, it's much thicker around. It's probably about a two or one and a half inch or something like that. And it doesn't taper at the end like this one does. Well, it does a little bit, but not as much. So that's the difference between these two. But this I got for $20 on Amazon. That's one-tenth of the price of this. And many years ago, I'm sure if I had thought of that, I would have been able to find it. Maybe not, but I don't know. I'm just glad that now such a great curling iron can be found for this cheap because I've tried other curling irons like Conair, the Infinity one I tried that it didn't really work that great for me and it's the same sort of device um, and I paid the same amount. It comes with a glove too and also a mat so that you can put it down on a surface without it, um, you know, burning it. So like now I can already feel some heat. It's not as warm as it does get. But it's definitely starting to get there. But you can you can burn yourself pretty bad with this um, until you're used to it. So I used to use the glove, and then once I got used to the feel of curling with it, I didn't need the glove anymore. And I wouldn't burn myself. But with the big one, I am not coordinated with that at all. So I always sort of touch it real fast. So now it's very hot. So I'm going to take a small piece of hair so you can see and then I always wrap it around so I hold it upside down and wrap it around and usually I hold this on for 10 to 15 seconds and obviously never curl your hair to straighten it when it's wet because we've all seen the hair tutorial gone wrong video where the girl pulls off singed hair so after that I pull it just pull it out and then I hold the curl up a little bit I learned this trick it just I don't know retains the curl longer and does isn't subjected to the force of gravity right away which sounds really nerdy but it's true and normally afterwards I would spray it but for now I'm just gonna leave it and as you can see this is a pretty tight coil if I had longer hair here, I'll start up here so you can see more of it curled. When you have really long hair, it starts to sort of clump near the bottom so the curls get tiny. It all depends what you're trying to do. Because if you really scrunch this up, you can have almost like afro-sized curls. This piece is good, you'll be able to see it. And the hair is pretty hot too. But yeah. That's... That piece was goes down to here, and it's all the way up there. So I'll take another little one. And the problem now is that this is going to stay and look really odd, but if you wrap these tiny, 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 tiny around the barrel, it's shocking how baby curl like it gets. Like Taylor Swift early career. Yeah. See that? that? That looks like a pig's tail right there. But, ew, I just stretched it out, and now I have Shirley Temple hair as well. Now, I just got this bigger one about a week ago, so I don't... I haven't had a lot of experience with it, but...
but I did use it once, and because my hair is short, it's kind of hard to see how well it curls, but really, since I have short hair, it just gave me a lot of volume and curl, and it kind of looked like um, Alexa Chung. So this is pretty hot now. I think it takes just a little bit longer because it's bigger, but I'll take a small piece from this side, and once again, I do the same technique, down, and then I wrap it outwards. And this I'll hold for 10 to 15 seconds as well. I'm foregoing the gloves, so if I get burnt, you guys will see my wrath. Okay, so that's done, and then I'm going to hold this up here, as I did with the other side. Okay, so you can see the curl. I'm definitely much bigger compared to this one was about normal size um, compared to that one or even that one but you still get a very nice curl that's gonna last you for a while so I'll do another piece and this one worse than a brand new one would so I hope you enjoyed this video and you have any questions about either one of these curling irons just uh, let me know and I will respond with my honest opinion.